It's a 600 million year old system that works with cannabis to get you high. But did you know that it's also critical for ensuring your survival? What is the endocannabinoid system and how does it work? Find out on this episode of Weed Easy by The Growth Up. Despite its name, the endocannabinoid system is responsible for much more than getting you high. In fact, the endocannabinoid system is said to have more cellular receptor sites than any other receptor system in the human body. In 1964, Israeli researcher Dr. Raphael Meshulam identified tetrahydrocannabinoil, or THC, as the main active compound in cannabis. For three decades, he studied how THC affects the body and brain, leading to the discovery of the endocannabinoid system, or the ECS. He named it endocannabinoid because endo means within the body, and cannabinoid points to the cannabis plant that led to its discovery. While the ECS allows the body to interact with compounds in cannabis that get you high, it is also a critical molecular system that's responsible for keeping your body in homeostasis or balance. Homeostasis is incredibly important to maintaining overall bodily function and health, and the ECS is the regulator of that balancing act. The ECS regulates pain, appetite, sensation, inflammation, mood, eye ocular pressure, stress response, and more. And it exists in humans as well as in mammals, birds, reptiles, and other invertebrates. But how does the ECS keep things in check? Well, it uses three key tools. When something is thrown out of whack in the body, a cell will produce natural endocannabinoids, molecules, that bind to and activate cannabinoid receptors. Cannabinoid receptors sit on the surface of cells and listen to what's going on outside the cell. So when endocannabinoids bind to these receptors, they transmit the message that something is out of whack to the cell, setting off a response to stop it. Once the endocannabinoids have done their job, metabolic enzymes break them down to ensure they're only used when needed. The two main endocannabinoids are anandamide and 2 arachnidoyl glycerol, or 2-AG, and they make sure all the cells of a certain kind are moving at the right speed and in the right direction. The two major receptors of the ECS are CB1 and CB2. The receptor CB1 is also responsible for getting you high, and it's one of the most common receptor types in the brain. CD2 receptors are abundant on immune cells, gastrointestinal tract, and the peripheral nervous system. So what happens to the ECS when you use cannabis? Let's look at anandamide, which comes from the Sanskrit word ananda, meaning bliss. When anandamide binds to cannabinoid receptors in the emotion center of the brain, it produces a feeling of bliss and calm. Anandamide activates CB1 receptors in the brain, and as you've probably guessed, so does the THC in cannabis. When you get high, THC overwhelms the ECS creating an amplified effect of what anandamide does. It can impair reaction time, memory, and judgment, but also makes us feel good or high. The effect of THC can even reduce the perception of pain. Since cannabinoid receptors are present in so many parts of the brain and body, THC affects each and every cell. Without the endocannabinoid system, we wouldn't have the receptors to interact with the cannabinoids in cannabis. The endocannabinoid system is so important to your brain, heart, lungs, muscles, nervous system, immune system, digestive system, and more, because it helps to create balance and homeostasis within your body. Who knew that a biological system named after weed would be so crucial? Thanks for watching Weed Easy by The Growth Op. Subscribe to our channel for more cannabis content and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Visit thegrowthop.com, the premium destination for cannabis news and views.